Random topics with Virgil and Erica. We are going. We didn't get any new questions this week, um, so we're gonna pull from the box. Ready? Okay. Who? <laughs> who is calmer? Why are you screaming, David? I'm sorry. I'm not. This is just my normal boy. You're screaming. Okay. Who is calmer of you two? Who is the calmer of you two? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Virgil is calm. I am not. Virgil has tried to teach me from the beginning. Stay calm in time of crisis. But I think to me, to be honest, everything is a crisis. Right again. Right again. This is going to be an honest topic. I am not going to sugarcoat it. I am high strong. I am, I want everything to be, you smack me. I can't hear that. <laughs> I want everything to be even tone, structured, and when you are, when it's not structured, I'm not calm, but Virgil is calm in crisis, anything. He just calm, right? You make better decisions when you're calm. All those years flying airplanes, if something happens and you start panicking, you're doomed. But, to, but when we first got married, I think I was calm. I think I was calm. I think I, my calmness started to subside. When? When I had kids. Oh. I think when I had kids, not putting this on my kids, I'm just saying. I disagree. You do? You came to visit me in Florida one time and stopped somewhere and said, I can't go any further. Come and get me. Well, y'all. And I didn't even know where you were. Well, y'all, I ain't never really left Atlanta. So, uh, driving to Florida, he couldn't give me directions because. You know how you know people that think if they just tell you, hey, just get on I-25, go down, you're going to go by two miles, just stay on I-25, and then, no, mm, mm I don't, did they even have GPS in? No. They did not, and you could read a map, and I could not. So, yes, he is the calmer of the and two. The we have family here today. Hey. No. no. Kids want to be in and see, so I'm not about to be calm. So you're, you're not the calmest person? I'm not the calmest person. No. But, but in a time of crisis, you, Cole, can you, give me a you must remain calm in a time of crisis. You have to. Otherwise, you can't make good decisions. Well, sometimes when I'm not calm, sometimes I'm calm and I'm asking questions, but then you think I'm not calm because I'm asking questions and you're like, just stay calm. And I'm like, Virgil, I am calm. You're like, no, you're not because I'm asking questions. It's the way you ask the question. How do I ask and the questions? And the rapid fire questions. Like what? Non-stop. Because you need to talk faster. I need to know. So the answer to this question is, who is the calmer of you two? I am the calmer of us two. Okay. Next question. Opposites attract. <laughs> okay, we can't do it now. We may have to do three questions because that one's an easy one. Oh, taking <laughs> taking other people's kids on vacation. So let me let me start this. I did not realize that it was a thing because no, it's not a thing. Well, my sister. Shout out to Melinda. Her best friend since, I don't know, second, third grade, they would go on vacations in the summer and Melinda would go with them. Right. And I didn't think that it was 
you know, uh, that uh, unusual when I became an adult. So we moved to Huntsville and we were going on a cruise or something. We were going on a cruise to celebrate Miles' graduation. graduation. Yeah. And it was going to be Miles, a friend of his, and Cole. Well, Cole was going to be like third wheel. So we were like, yo, Cole, why don't you get uh, one of your friends to go? So he asked his buddy, and his parents were like, absolutely, he can go. Well, when we get back, the dad is like, hey, y'all came to town taking other people's kids on vacation, and their friends was asking them, how did you feel about them taking your son on vacation? And she was like, he'll be fine. He ain't at home sitting doing nothing. But to go back to that, we took we took him on vacation, but then we realized we didn't have enough bag, we didn't have enough space. So But that's not the question. I know that's not the question, but he did there he mentioned we're taking kid, his kids on vacation. But then he loaned us his car. No, oh, we didn't have enough room. We, <laughs> we, we didn't have enough room. And we was like, uh, how are we going to get out? How, first of all, how these boys going to fit? And then how these bags going to fit? And I think he was just excited that his kid was going on vacation. Huh. Oh, come and get my truck. You can take my truck. And you remember me and you looked at each other. And we was like, he going to really let us drive his truck? Well, we actually said, no, 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 we'll be fine. And we got halfway home, and I was like, no, nah, we got to go back. <laughs> we got to go back. Huh, so it was no big deal. We did not think twice about it, but we didn't know that was not a thing to take other people's kids on vacation. Yeah, so all you folks out there who have kids and you go on vacation and you don't want to talk to them bad-ass kids, Ask their friends, parents, can you take their kid with you? And then your kid got somebody to talk to. I tried to do that. I even hinted to certain people here. And I'm like, you know, when you go visit your family, my kids can go. I have no problem. I trust you. But nobody ever invited them to go. <laughs> <laughs> they never invited them yeah, to go. That bad. Yeah. So... We take people's kids on vacation without a problem. He's the calmer of the two. And I think that's going to be a short one tonight. Sounds good to me. Because I'm hungry. You hungry? Not now. Oh, oh not now. You know, tell me your tell me your I got uh, lemon pepper smoked wings from Champies on Madison Boulevard. Uh, they're actually pretty good. Uh, the lemon pepper isn't as uh, prominent as I like, but they're pretty good. Um, this is Martell. Uh, shout out to Pam who recommended this because you can't find Hennessy on the shelves anymore. Uh, oh, here we go. Martell. Uh, she recommended it. Uh, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. So. That's strong. That's strong though. Shout out to Pam. So anyway, that's going to end this six. This sure. Is I don't know what I meant. It's our sixth episode here, little talk. So if you guys want to add questions to the bin, we want you, if you like it, please like it, please share it. And uh, I think- You like it, it. By, by clicking on the little heart. I know the heart thing. I didn't know that, so they The heart, like the heart. And then you can also follow us on YouTube now. We started Erica and Virgil. So if you don't have the IGTV app, we are now on YouTube. We did a thing. And uh, we will talk to you guys next time. Deuces. Deuces.